Hello, YouTubers. This is going to be something called my um, maximum voltage fire alarm video. Um, what I mean by maximum voltage is that um, I'm going to be using 27 volts here on the free 9 volt batteries, which I got. The horn strobe, as you can see, is the same. It's the wheel lock empty multi tone horn strobe. The horn you will hear will be continuous. Um, I have it wired up right there, as you can see to my Firelight BG12 pull station because that's what I'm going to be using when doing the test. I have that on a Kleenex box so to, to use as a base so it doesn't fall over. And um, and my keys here for setting for resetting my fire alarm pull stations. And the key that I use to reset this with is this, my, my Firelight BG12 key. Um, I don't really know the actual name of it. I know Simplex has something called a B key, but um, I have a question. What kind of a key is this for the Firelight BG12 pull station, just like for the Simplex pull stations, you use uh, something called a B key? Um, okay, um, before I start the test, however, like I said in my last video, um, never ever pull these in public in commercial buildings unless there is an actual fire emergency. Because if you do this for a prank or a fall and a false alarm in a public and commercial buildings, the consequences are severe. You can get in a lot of trouble severely, which is paying a fine and getting arrested and serving jail time. So once again, never ever pull these in public and commercial buildings unless there is an actual fire emergency. Okay, so um, let's start the test. Oh, whoops, my, I, I forgot to, um, hook up my wire here. Why don't I just reset it real fast and then, um, we'll start the test from there. Sorry about that. I forgot to hook up, re-hook up my wire. Why don't, why don't I just do that real quick? Okay, there we okay, there we go. Now it's now now it's hooked up to maximum voltage. Um here we go. Okay, I didn't run it for very long because um, on my wheel lock MT multi-tone horn strobe, I don't know how long that was, but if any of you had an idea on how long I ran it for, just let me know. Um, I, I, and, I, and I have another question. Um, it says on my wheel lock MT that it, it, it says, um, do not apply 24 volts DC using the jumper plug um and um for the fire alarm technicians and experts out there um why can't i do that and why would it be bad for the alarm if i do that by, by using 24 volts dc when using the jumper plugs why is that bad just let me know thank you for watching my video and i hope you enjoyed it Bye bye